Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I would like to share with you an eyeshadow look featuring the Flawless 4 palette from Makeup Revolution. So this is the packaging. This was featured also in my monthly favourites for September 2017. I love, love, love this palette. It is gorgeous to look at, or that, apart from the fingerprints, um, but it just shows that I have been using it. And inside, whoops, you have all of these beautiful looks. Now, the only problem that I'm having at the moment is um, actually, let me just share a close up of that. So if you're waiting for this to be delivered or you've just ordered it or you're thinking about ordering it, um, I want you to have a good close up look of that. Now, the only problem that I'm having is that at the moment, a lot of new palettes that have been released are very red in tone. So I have been featuring a few red toned looks uh, today. I want to go with something a little bit more um i don't know more neutral more i don't know i'm going to play it by ear as i always do but i want something a little bit less red and i want to share with you how versatile this palette can be without it being a red eyed look because i seem to every eyeshadow palette that i've um, bought recently has those red tones and we all know that perhaps this palette um, there's a few more for Makeup Revolution the Jaclyn Hill palette that I featured recently on my channel you know they are synonymous for those red toned eye looks but I want to do something a little bit different today so I want something less red it may <laughs> it may end up a red eyed look um, but I'm going to try my best to steer clear of that because I want something to match what I'm wearing so I'm wearing one of my um, fluffy jumpers from yesterday's Primark haul this is the grey colour and I've got a uh, blue flowered necklace you can't get this any longer from Primark but um, I picked this up from Primark so I want something a little bit different a, yeah a little bit cool toned I suppose so it's going to be different difficult because this is a warm tone palette but I'm going to try and keep it neutral anyway uh, the brush that I'm going to use to start the look as always is my Primark eyeshadow brush love 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 this absolutely beautiful and I think I'm going to start off with the colour um, is it Cerise hmm. I'm just looking because the colour that I'm going to start off with is it's on the name sheet it says Cerise but it's not it's like this I don't know yellow toned brown but anyway I'm going to that's what it says on my sheet it says that the shade is cerise so I'm just going to dip the brush in there I've got my mirror here so I will be looking in this direction to my right your left um, so that I can see what I'm doing so I'm just adding a little bit of that eyeshadow onto the brush and I'm going to start off with this eye and then I'll do the eye that's closer. Now this colour is definitely more, well it's definitely got more yellow in it. But it's still, <laughs> it's still looking quite red toned. So I hope that this is going to, this look is going to come out okay. But I want to feature the three palettes. In fact, I'll share these with you. So I've the first one I wanted to share with you is the Flawless Four. Then I've got the uh, I Heart Makeup Chocolate Rose Gold, and then I've got the Sauce Palette. So I'm going to do that those looks in that order. So tomorrow will be the Chocolate Rose Gold, and on Friday I'll feature a look um, using the Sauce Palette. But yeah, I just don't. F I f and I said this um, I think yesterday either yesterday or the day before, that a lot of palettes have recently become available. And um, it's difficult for me to feature them all because they've just been, you know, one after the other have been released. And it, so it's been difficult to catch up perhaps and keep up with looks. So I thought that that's what I'm going to do uh, this week or for the remainder of this week. Now, all I've done is dip one you know one 
and I haven't even swirled the brush around. Um, so all I've done is dip the brush in, literally tapped it, and I've got enough product to then um, go all over the whole of the eye as a base. But that's exactly what I want. But I think um, if you're looking for a cool tone palette, perhaps this is not the one. <laughs> I expected that colour Cerise to be a little bit different, but you know, it's absolutely fine. I mean, I love this palette so much, otherwise it wouldn't have featured in my monthly favourites. I'm just deepening that up. Now I have already primed my eyes with the Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix Eye Primer as well, which I again featured in my monthly favourites. Now I'm thinking, what do I want to deepen this up with? I'm going to try Candle, which is the shade right beside it, um, which actually looks like it's going to work very, very nicely. Again, I, like I say, I don't think this is going to be too cool tone, but never mind. To be honest, it, you know, I just love this. So I'm going to dip the tip of this brush in because I want to um, keep it to the crease this time. So I want to, and I want to keep it quite tight to that crease. So I'm just building that up. Taking that a little bit higher now, and then I'm going to do that to the other eye. Very nice. nice now i want to do something a little bit deeper now and i'm going to choose the shade i think burn it that one looks like that one there because that one looks quite now that's a shimmer actually yeah that one looks quite cool toned although <laughs> um i think i'm probably going to forget the cool toned look and then again, just put that in the corner, keeping that quite tight to that crease. I don't want to take that too high at all. That has worked really, really well. Just want to keep that really just in that area. Love that. Now again I'm going to do that with the other eye. I think I've taken that, yeah I've taken that, I've hit the wrong spot there. I've taken it out way, way too far. I'm just going to get a clean brush. I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to just go into the original colour, which is Cerise. And just go over that. Yep, that's fine. Again, I'll just remove that and go back to my original brush and I'm getting a little bit more of Burn It and making sure that I keep it in the crease this time. But I just want to keep it in that, you know, very, very tight to that crease area basically. That has worked out very, very well because that's exactly what I wanted to do. And I think also if you make a mistake, it just shows that um, these shades really do work together just to blend in and do exactly what you want them to do. Um, because some 
eyeshadows. So I'm just blending all of that. Some eyeshadows I find you just cannot blend. Um, not only that, I'm now putting on um, lotion onto my eyes to keep them um, moisturized so they don't dry out. Um, I'm also putting on a um, the Focus and Fix eye primer that is quite, it's not liquidy as such, but it's not dry um, like a lot of primer, eye primers are or eye bases are. So basically I, I have a lot of issues now um, doing that where eyeshadows just don't blend very well but with these ones they really do they stay um, or they blend very very nicely together and you know that's what we want so whether we've got dry lids or oily lids you know we want a multi-functional eyeshadow and these ones really work very very well So yeah, that's worked very nicely. A little bit warmer than what I wanted, but you know, I should have um, thought about it a little bit more because obviously this is a warm palette. <laughs> but never mind. Now I'm getting that cerise on the tip of the brush again, and I'm just going to run that underneath the eye. Now if you don't like um, eyeshadow underneath the lower lash, then obviously you can, um, you know, not do that. It's just that I, I don't wear any eyeliner and I like some, because my eyes are quite dark in colour and I've got, you know, dark eyelashes, I like that, um, that look. It just makes my eyes look nice. Whereas if I miss the step, it just, <laughs> it just looks like my eyes are, you know, I just haven't completed the eye look basically. And all I've put on is that first colour, Cerise, and it is just a stunning colour. I don't think I've used that one yet. But yeah, really, really like that. I don't want too much of a heavy look today. I just want, you know, a nice day look day appropriate. I'm just going back to that first brush, uh, sorry, the second brush that I just used to blend out. I'm just putting a little bit of, I think it's either Dahlia or Dahlia, depending on how you want to say it. I always say Dahlia. Um, and I'm just going to um, pop a little bit of that. And I'll just show you that colour. It's quite a, a neutral, like a yellow base colour. You've got a white matte base, and this is the yellow matte base. And depending on obviously your skin tone, there's also a, um, a tone underneath that one called Sunday, which is a little bit pink in tone. And I'm just going to run that across the top. Like that. So that's looking good. Now I want um, to, now I don't know what to do about the lid. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of that cerise on the, why am I gonna do it shimmery? Mm -hmm. Now I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go shimmery. I do like a shimmery lid. I was going to do it matte, but Hmm. No, I need a bit of shimmer, I think, in, on my eye. <laughs> um, what colour am I going to go for? And I think I'm going to go for Muted, which is a gold colour. So I'm going to go for Muted, which is this one here. Is it that one? Yeah, muted. So I'm just going to put that one on the lid. A little while ago, or when I first started putting on makeup, or a lot of makeup, I suppose, in the last, um, I would say, three to four years, um, I wouldn't have even considered putting gold eyeshadow on and I don't know why because it just looks fantastic perhaps it was because there was never any 
very nice gold shades out there but the gold shades this one in particular muted is absolutely beautiful Now I do find putting on the shimmer shades with your finger just works a lot better. Um, I mean, I'm going to swap to a little brush in a minute because if I try and put the shimmer shade in the inner corner, you know, right in this bit here with my finger, then I tend to get it everywhere as I mentioned the other day. So I just use, and this brush is perfect for this, and it's the Primark PS Pro Shading Eye Brush. You can use any very, very tiny brush. Um, you don't have to use this one. This is just the one that I like to use. Really, really love that. I'm just going back to my original Primark brush and make sure that I haven't gone too high with when you've got um, a little bit of a hooded lid like mine I tend to find when I first put the shimmer on the eyelid um, it tends to obviously I open my eyes and then a little bit goes on the uh, eye you know in the crease so I just use the original brush that I used to you know go into the crease with just to blend that off a little bit so that's that done and I've gone underneath the eye I just feel like I want a little bit more so I'm going to get a little bit more of Cerise I do like it not obviously too dark but I like it to be quite deep there now what I, the look that I've really been liking recently obviously it depends on your coloring and what colors that you like on your lid um, but I have really really liked um, putting you know a lovely shade on the lid and then carrying it round to the inner corner and I'm going to use muted again which is the gold shade that I have been using and I'm just going to put that around the whole of the inner corner there so that's one eye and then I'm going to do it on this side so follow that all the way around and just blend it in and I just find that that works very very nicely now what I'm going to do just to finish that off is I'm going to get a tiny tiny little bit of burn it as little little as I can get and it is just a tiny tiny you only have to it's like a you hardly have to touch these colors to get anything on your brush and then I'm just going to deepen and blend in that deep color like that again it's just hardly have to touch it at all just because these shades are so so pigmented so I'll just go through the shades again that I have used so the first color that I uh, initially used was it's weirdly named because it says cerise but it's not a cerise color at all it's like a yellow toned brown so that's the first color now it does look very yellow toned brown in the pan but actually when you put it on uh, and blend it out it comes off as a quite a warm toned I would thought I thought I put on that color but I didn't I put on that one so that's cerise and then I added um, which one was it? it was the one right beside it called candle yeah candle so it was this one here so I just deepened up the crease a little bit with that one then I added burn it I think it was yep yeah, burn it which was this one here just to give this deepness 
here, which I like. And then I used the gold shade Muted, I think it's called, Muted, that one there. But I, of course, I will list all of these shades down below if you want to try that out for yourself. And of course, I followed that all around the eye. I already had mascara on as well because I find it easier to do that. I don't know why, but in these tutorials, every time I try and put mascara on, I either get black on my hair um, <laughs> or something goes wrong. So I always try and put it on before, but I hope you found that helpful. I wanted to try something that wasn't so red in toned. Um, tomorrow, I think I might just go for the whole red toned and show you something like that. But I've already done a red toned look with this. I wanted to try something a little bit more neutral, a little bit more, you know, daytime appropriate. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll just also show you a close up. So it is very daytime appropriate. Um, still a little bit of warmth there, <laughs> even though I wanted to do a little bit more of a cool toned look. But I hope you enjoyed that. Tomorrow I'm going to feature the I Heart Makeup London, uh, the Chocolate Rose Gold Palette. Um, and also on my lips today, I have the Renaissance Makeup Revolution Renaissance Lipstick in Prime. Um, so it's in between, I would say, greatest and awaken if you um if you're aware of those lipsticks so it's um, you know those two shades mixed together this is what you get prime so thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe of course if you are not already subscribed to watch future videos and uh, comments down below please i really enjoy reading your comments as always um, but yeah thank you so much for watching until tomorrow thank you bye